In the Golden Age arc, just before the Eclipse, there is a scene that is often forgotten due to the shocking events that come after it. A withered Griffith overhears Casca crying as she denies Guts' offer. She tells him that she wants to stay with Griffith and protect him after his year of torture. This triggers Griffith and he is met by his past self. He is prompted to chase an image of himself as a boy. He manages to take the reins and dashes away with a horse and carriage. A wheel hits a rock and Griffith is launched out of the carriage. Everything goes dark and a woman calls his name. Griffith sits in a chair like a doll as Casca tends to him. She is more feminine, like a housewife, and her sword and shield are mounted on the wall. Casca calls for a child named Guts. The boy with black hair runs around the house, chasing Pippin the dog, and Casca thinks out loud, wondering where Guts is. She gives the listless Griffith a kiss on the cheek and raises a spoonful of soup to his mouth. Griffith tries to convince himself that such a life would not be so bad. His behelet breaks the surface of the soup and he comes back to reality, arm broken. He tries to kill himself but he can't muster the resolve. He looks down and spots his behelet in the puddle of water that he's sitting in. He reaches for it, need I say more. This run of events was just crazy. Just look at his expression throughout the scene with Waifu Casca, especially after hearing Casca call the name of what I assume is her son by guts. There is something terrifying about it. I think that Moira might have drawn Griffith in the likeness of a doll on purpose. Beautiful but mute and broken. Also this is impressive foresight for Griffith to have. Although it was a dream, this would have likely been his reality if he said no to the Eclipse. So somehow he knew that Casca was pregnant with Guts' son? Interesting. Getting taken care of by the girl you dubbed and watching her kid run around, named after and patented by the man that beat you in a duel, the same man that you couldn't call a friend after he accidentally killed a child for you. Mm. God's humble pie was sliced thick. Notice this though, as Griffith slowly ponders and begins to accept his fate, the behelet appears in his suit. To drink the soup is to accept your fate. To look past the soup and embrace all other options is to deny your fate. He looked past the soup. This event set the precedent for Griffith's decision to betray his friends. Drinking the soup was Griffith's future if he said no.